Today we're going to talk about a little bit about the different options that you have to automate and integrate different tasks within your day-to-day -day life. Now the main factor on these options is whether you're trying to apply these automations to your business or you're someone that's trying to become a little bit more involved with software development and AI technology either because you're trying to learn more about it or you're trying to work in that field later on in the future. Now my goal is that at the end of this video you'll have a little bit more clarity and direction in terms of what technology what software you should be looking into as you move forward in your AI journey. So even though this is an AI video and AI agent specifically which I think without a doubt is one of the most groundbreaking technologies in ages. Let's talk a little bit about an older technology that was super groundbreaking only a couple of decades ago and that's websites. Now if you think about it websites really haven't been around for that long but it seems kind of strange to think that there was a point in time where we didn't have them. Now as they started becoming all the rage people kind of had two options for how to implement them right. If you're someone that was trying to get a job in technology well then it made sense for you to try to start learning things such as HTML, CSS, web services, all that stuff. Because if that was going to be your profession, then of course you should know how to use all the tools to build all of those things. Now, if you were someone that had a business, maybe it was a donut shop, maybe it was a restaurant, it probably made more sense to make the website the easiest, fastest way possible. Maybe you did decide to learn a little bit of WordPress or maybe use something like Wix. But whatever path you ended up picking really depended on why you wanted the website. Did you want to make a website because you want to learn about making websites? Or did you want to implement implement the functionality and benefits that a website would bring to your business. And I think right now people fit into those very similar categories at this point in time when it comes to AI agents. So starting with the first set of people, which is you're either in marketing or advertising, or you just want to start using AI technology more efficiently within your business, I want to show you these tools real quick. We're not going to go into too much depth or detail, but rather I want you to be familiar with these names in case you haven't heard of them, or you can start looking into them, try them out, see if they would benefit your business. The first one we're going to go over is called Centro AI. Now, Centro AI basically built in a front end for letting you use AI agents, which they've already built, they've already created, they've already attached the integrations needed for them to do the tasks that you want them to do, and there's no code involved as you can see here you have your customer support agent your seo agent and many more but the reason why they're trying to make this so visually appealing is because they want to give you peace of mind that they're taking care of everything going on in the back end the maintenance the error checking so that you can focus on using these automations for whatever it is that your business needs another one i've heard a lot of good things about is this one called lutra.ai this one also leverages ai agents working in the background and what i really like about this is that they've already integrated a lot of google's technologies with their agents again because they already did all this work for you you don't have to be worrying about integrations or api keys so much but rather you already have a team of focused developers making sure that these technologies that these integrations are working as they should so if you have business and feel like you're dealing with a lot of clicking here and there to manage data and do a lot of those tedious manual time consuming tasks, I would recommend you look into Lutra. Now the last two I want to mention are Flowwise and Stack AI. And these are two tools that are gonna allow you to build AI workflows again without having to worry too much about the code that's going on in the background. You are gonna have to have a little bit more knowledge in terms of what LLMs are, how they tie in with databases, but because of this user interface that they created, which pretty much just involves you literally connecting the dots between the things you're gonna use in this program. With only a few YouTube videos and the help of ChatGPT, you'll be able to do complex things such as tying in your LLM to a vectorized database and making sure you're getting consistent, reliable output within just a few minutes. And the last one I want to share is this website called AppSumo. So AppSumo is a website where you can pretty much get really good lifetime deals on licenses to applications that are barely coming out. They're barely trying to get their name out there to get users to use them so that you know, they can start getting good reviews, so they can start getting more traction, and I'm assuming start paying back some of that funding they got. But if you feel like there hasn't been a tool that's been made for the specific use case you need for your business, I think looking through the new ones that are coming up in AppSumo, especially if you filter by AI here, is really going to help you stay ahead of the curb when it comes to finding a new tool before it becomes super popular and becomes super expensive. And also, because it's not a super popular app yet, because there aren't that many people using it, you'll more than likely be in a position where you can start building a good relationship either with the developers or the founders, and pretty much you'll get VIP access when it comes to the support that you need. So that covers some of our no-code agent solutions. And the rest that we have up here, such as Crew AI, versus Agency Swarm, we have Co here and we have Phi Data. These are all the frameworks that are pretty popular 
and probably the most mainstream ones at the moment for building out applications using agent framework. Now in the year 2024, I do believe it's important that everybody learn about AI technology. Now how deep down the rabbit hole of AI you go is really going to depend on the reason why you want to learn more about these technologies. If you're somebody that's really interested in technology, maybe you want to go into a technology field, but have never really worked with AI, then sure, definitely making projects with these agent frameworks is definitely going to put you ahead of most people. Because I do believe that the best way to learn is by making things. Now, the reason you're trying to learn this is because you want to make a product or you want to implement this into your business. I don't want you to underestimate the software engineering principles that are going to have to go behind launching this product. Despite how amazing AI agents are, even if you build the perfect crew or the perfect framework today for them, that web app is still going to have to be deployed into a server. That server is probably going to have to be hosted in a cloud environment. And then on top of that, there's going to be the issue of managing security, managing other deployments, and just the overall maintenance of the application itself. Because even though it is true that agents are amazing technology and that chatbots such as ChatGPT have made coding easier now, better than ever, doesn't change the fact that building software products is still a monumental task that needs ongoing work, ongoing maintenance, and ongoing investment. So again, depending on what your end goal is, it's going to be up to you whether you're going to go with a code or a no-code solution. And to be honest with you, a lot of these applications that I mentioned earlier that have a friendly user interface, I myself have never used, I had never really heard of, but the way I heard about them and saw the good things that they could do was through the one-on-ones that I had with you guys. So hearing about the good experience that you had with one app allowed me to share with someone else whenever they they mentioned that they had similar needs for their projects so let me know in the comments what experiences have you guys had with some of these tools do you feel like they cover a lot of the automations you need do you feel like they're still lacking do you feel like we're getting pretty close to a point where coding pretty much becomes obsolete or do you feel like that's a golden skill to have in 2024 and again if you guys have some questions about how you can implement ai technology either in a personal project or a business not even just necessarily with career ai i'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me completely free thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one